This week on Poor Pilot Better Plane, we've got a lot of kerbals we need to transport. We better find something. Welcome back to Poor Pilot Better Plane. So this week we're looking at uh, kerbal transport or transport planes. Um, so the first one we've got is the LA-223 Sparrow and this is by Soyuz Turtle and uh, this was one that was posted on the forums um, and uh, let's see what happens. So it's supposed to have space for 36 I think, 36 kerbals. Um, and it's supposed to have a, a, a bump in the middle there for science and communication and things like that. There is a what looks like a shroud thing there, but we're not going to touch that. So let's give this a go. Brakes are off. Let's see how it goes. Slowly. Sl oh, hello. We're, we're edging to one side there. Maybe a little bit of SAS on there would be quite a good idea. Um, oh. Antenna broken by air forces. That's not a good thing, is it? Uh, let's get the. Uh, we've got some. Oh, Jeb's on board. We've got Jeb on board. That's good. We should take off at some point. How many we got? We got. We got a lot of people, have we? Let's take off. Right, takes off. Okay. Ooh, it's heavy. It's wobbly. Its wings are very wobbly. Look at that. It's wobbly wings. I suppose it's a big craft. Oh, come on. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up, boy. It is, it is a heavy beast. Let's get the gear up. Right, this, this is, this is very different. Look at the wings flapping. Let's just uh, do that. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna try and turn. Um, it is, it is heavy. It is slow. I'm not entirely. I mean, it's not a fighter jet. Let's be honest, is it? But um, yeah, how far can it go around? Look at that. Oh yes, it's, it's. Too, but I mean for Kerbal it's it, it's a standard thing. Kerbal, Kerbal aircraft tend to be much more nimble than their, their counterparts so a, a carrier craft like this is uh, is what you'd expect I suppose. It is um, it's not too bad. Let's see I think we're going to try and turn it round and uh, we'll, we'll probably oh, hello 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 probably going to die right now. Is this going to be a death dive? It's gonna be. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. I feel that we're gonna crash. It's gonna be so tight. Come on, pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh, oh, that was that was that was hairy. I think we should land now. So yeah, easy to easy to kill yourself on this craft. Um, I I don't really want to put the engines down a bit, but uh, let's kill them. Let's give it a little bit of control. The gears, the gears are down. I don't think we're going to be landing on the runway. It has a tendency to wobble to one side. It's a very wobbly craft. It is a very wobbly craft, in fact. Ooh, ooh, we're going a bit fast. Does it got air brakes? It has air brakes. Oh, are we down? Okay, that that was that was easy. Enough. I thought, although saying that we haven't stopped yet tap the brakes like a crazy man we're gonna we're gonna just we're running out of grass right now break 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 okay right oh ooh, ooh. we've got a hill oh we're still going very fast the brakes do not seem to work very well with this uh, all right okay right yeah the landing the landing was a lot better than I thought it was but the, the stopping is not happening stopping would be good can can we reverse these? Have these got have these got reverse thrust? Uh, I suppose they're turned off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Whoa, it takes a long time. So, so if you're planning on landing this on the runway, it is not gonna stop. It is not going to stop. We're we're now a long way away. A long way. Away. Jeb, you're walking home on this one. Yeah, so this what can I say about this? The uh LA two twenty three Sparrow. We had a, a close call there. Um, it's a big craft. It's got a lot of space for kerbals up at the front there. Um, it it doesn't really break. Does it? Is it brakes or on? Or does it actually have brakes functioning? What's it got? Did the steering enabled? Directions okay. Friction, auto. Uh, it doesn't say anything about that. All right. So put the brakes on permanently. 
shut the engines down, I think. Uh, yep, like that. And like that. Right, so what can we say? Well, it rolls. It doesn't seem to have brakes. It's it's an odd one. Um, deploy shielded, brakes, maximum. Give me maximum brakes. Good. Has this one not got brakes? Brakes maximum. Yes. Right. Big craft. Um, and that's pretty much it. It's got uh, a big storage space inside. You could stack your kerbals in there. We could definitely transport a lot of kerbals here. Um, but I think we'll leave it there. I, I don't think I'm ever going to fly that again because it is wobbly and crazy. And how we didn't hit the water, I have no idea. So let's get on to the next one. Right. Welcome back to the runway. So um, this is the uh, the Shorty Mark 1 Passenger Edition. This is by Northard Dimension 100. Um, and again, as with all these, there will be a link down below. This has a, a capacity, a claimed capacity of uh, of 50 kerbals. I think you probably could. You've got lots of space there for crews and stuff. Off. Um, I'm not sure what this does. Oh, does it detach the engines? Best remember not to press that, although I think that could be quite fun. So let's just, uh, let's just get going. Um, let's see how it flies. This is very similar to the to the Sparrow, but without the the capacity for cargo. I think there is a cargo variety of this where they replace some of the crew cabins. So it'd be interesting to, to see what this is like. A much shorter plane, um, much bigger tail, which is quite nice. Um, s different engines, I think. Yes, different engine intakes and stuff like that. Uh, put the SAS on just to start with. Um, all of these are, are likely to be quite sort of slow to get going. But we'll see. Oh, this one takes off quite nicely. See, this, look, we've got very little, we've got very little in the way of. Uh, of wobble on the wings this time. It's much more structurally sound, I would say. Um, it's more of a classic sort of uh, short sort of hop jet design. You sort of um, your seven was it seven two seven seven oh seven seven one seven um, that sort of style. Not a seven four seven like the last one, which was just felt like a big craft. Um, can we go? Can we go high? I'm going to try and see how much we got on this. It's it's actually very manoeuvrable, considering. I mean, yeah, it's a it's a passenger jet, but it it's actually got the ability to climb at quite an angle. Um, what about diving? What about diving? It, see, it's it is slow, so it's got that very large tail plane there, um, and it is just a little slow to to do that stuff with. So we'll try that and do a bit of this. Let's turn it round got a bit of height to play with although I have a feeling I'm going to regret doing that it is heading down and it does not like to change its heading too, too much it's pitch its pitch is quite slow I wonder whether the um, the actual ailerons have got no they're, they've, they've not got I wondered whether they'd actually been limited uh, or anything but it seems not so yeah another nice little craft um, not special but yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say if you were, if you were transporting your kerbals to the island at a runway or anything like that, this is a perfect little craft for it. Um, it seems to be quite happy to to fly along at quite a slow speed actually, and that might be partly why it's uh, it's not uh, it's not going up and down. It's not changing its pitch as much because it doesn't even have much force, much power in, in it. So let's see, let's see if we can land this thing now. Tick engines down, get gears down. Now, the problem with this one is I know it's going to have trouble pulling up once it goes down. So, let's just cut the engines actually. Can it glide? It should. With that, with that amount of wing, it should be glidable. It's empty at the moment. Um, will it have brakes? Let's actually check the brake situation because it's, uh, again, brakes. Everybody's playing with the brakes, obviously. Back brake there is nice. Does it have, uh, does it have any air brakes that I can see? I can't see any. Actually, let's see where the land is. We've got 200. We'll flare at the last minute, pull it out, be nice. I'm sure it won't go wrong. Never goes wrong. Flare. Oh, there's a hill there. I didn't notice there was a, a hill there. Oh, yeah. That's oh, that's been a little bit. We got saved by a little bit of loading lag there as the rest of the craft over there start to load in. We're just going to bunny hop. Yeah, so the, the actual pitch control on this is not the best in the world. Oh, yeah, definitely not the best. Um... 
doesn't doesn't really doesn't like the pitch this is gonna go wrong in so many ways oh there we quick fire the other engine away as well yeah get rid of the engines there we go oh, once you get rid of the engines it's fine hmm. so put the brakes on um yeah so that is the the shorty mark one it's a nice little plane uh its pitch control is a little sluggish you might want to think about changing in fact that is oh we actually lost a, a tail plane there yeah you might want to change that but um i would probably put a bit more uh control sort of structure in there but uh, in general nice craft so on to the next one welcome back to the runway and on it we have the 2g07 morning glory by ronin frog this is your luxury your luxury liner this is we've we've been flying the the sort of cattle class craft up until now this is for luxury look at all those beautiful so it's windows there you can see where you're going it just style 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 um let's see how it flies shall we well it is noisy it's got afterburners okay let's pull away from you there it's very noisy uh oh bit of sas so all of your rich friends and you can fly around in this it's a it's a wonderful little craft you to to see what's going on and it's falling off the runway that's not going to end badly is it let's just uh, yeah, let's get back on the runway there we go so um the engines are quite quite powerful it would seem a little bit of afterburn power there we might we might turn that down a little bit uh that's very loud Way. so gear up look at it now see this is uh yeah this is an interesting craft so we've got uh all of these um these these pods on the side that you can put people into or kerbals into um is there actually anything can i open can i open the back tail is there anything in there oh it's empty it's actually empty okay right okay so so that's obviously for all of the the important stuff that you'd want to keep uh should you be flying this craft so let's try and let's try and turn it it, it doesn't like turning I'll, I'll be honest with you there that, that that's more like an airliner turning yeah let's try that let's get around it's, it's not getting height now there were some instructions with this one uh about how to land it uh, i didn't read them uh probably probably should have um so let's just turn it round. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Right. So pull it up a bit. That's better. Actually, maybe maybe if we close the back, that would help, would it? Yeah. Um, it's not a pleasure to fly this. I don't think. I think it it's very noisy as well. Um, it's its controls are not really what you'd expect. Um, it doesn't it doesn't bank very well uh it doesn't climb it climbs okay but it, it feels very sluggish and, and non-responsive uh it's got it has got aeros aerofoils and air surfaces it? yeah tail its tail is basically most of its control mechanism so let's cut the engine um get the gear down would i fly this uh, myself at home no 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 i wouldn't uh but for your rich people with your all your what sorts of stuff and money and things. Oh, it's better. Oh, it's so much better now the engines are off. Oh, just flying over the top there of a, of the of the shorty that we just done. Um, this is not coming down very quickly. Now, supposedly there's a special way of landing this. Um, ideally, I'd imagine it's with the engines off because that's horrible. Um, it is not a fighter jet. Why has it got fighter jet engines? All right, let's pull up a bit, pull up a bit, pull up a bit, pull up a bit. There we go and brakes so there we go um i don't like that craft uh, a lot of beautiful building work in it i love the structure of the wings and everything but uh to actually just oh it's hopping a lot um that wasn't me um yeah it's an odd shape it just doesn't have the control that i'd like but it's lovely to look at and a very unique craft so i guess we're going to move to our final craft of the day well, we may be on the runway with this one, but it's a, it's a little different. So this is from, and I'm going to try and say his name correctly because he has now told me how to say it, Klapausius. 
um, who seems to have a, a plan in every single one of these episodes. Um, he, he does some really interesting stuff. This is very much his style. You can actually think about the this shapes and everything. Um, now this is a little bit different. I'm going to actually uh, I'm going to take off to start with while while I'm explaining this. Um, with the noisy noisy engines we might have to turn those off actually because they're quite noisy um, this is a little different uh, it's got space for a number of passengers crew crew cabins and whatnot um, but this one is designed for something a little different it's designed to go underwater so let us see if we can do this. We're gonna we're gonna try and just ease it into the water ever so slowly. Gonna let it slow down. So suppose that this is your your submarine plane, which defeats the whole gets past the problem in landing. Um, however, landing on water is the, another problem. I suppose I could have run it off the end of the the runway just really slowly and just driven it into the water, but that's not fun, is it? So we've put one pilot in today. Um, you could put more in, um, you could put more Kerbals in, uh, it's supposed to go in quite easily, so let's see, if it goes horribly wrong I'll cut and we'll just drive one off the, the runway. Well something broke, was it important? That's the question. We have no engines left, oh dear. Right, I'm going to cut there and actually take the craft to the end of the runway and we'll see what it's like underwater. Be wary of landing. And you join us as we enter the water. Look at that. So we're in the water now. So I suppose you pull the gears up. Um, let's actually give this a go then. Can it can it go underwater is the question, isn't it? Can it move forward? It is seeming to move forward. So let's see, can we dive? Oh, we're going down be too far down. No, no, a bit more power. More power. Can we get underwater? There we go. Oh, we're, we're, we're down. And there we are. So, the, uh, the Squire submarine passenger plane that is a submarine and a passenger plane. Wonderful. What happens if I turn the engines off? So, there we go. There's the coast. Look at that. Wonderful. Uh oh. Uh, this is. This, I'm sure it's going to end fine. I'm sure it's going to be fine. Yes. Uh oh. Right. Ah. So yeah, the Squire submarine passenger plane. I'm sure you could have a lot of fun going underwater with it, but the water's dangerous. Uh, but so, from me until next time, have a great one.